Hi, my name is Ann Schaefer with Soul Peace Chocolate. Today I'm going to show you how to make the cream cheese filling for a Danish pastry. First, what we have here is um, four ounces of cream cheese, it's about a half a pack, and a tablespoon of ricotta cheese. So you're just going to start and just, just want to make them really soft and smooth so that you don't get any uncomfortable and gross chunks in your Danish cream cheese filling. What I have here is one egg yolk and a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up in there. And you want it to be mixed up pretty well at first too because um, if you don't, you run the risk of burning, or burning the um, sugar, which we're about to add in a moment. Okay. And then it's two and a half tablespoons of sugar. And just mix that up pretty well. Again, just making sure that there's no lumps because you want a nice, creamy, smooth filling for your Danish pastry. Okay, and then what we have here is just a pinch of salt and a half tablespoon of lemon zest, which I freshly zested. going to add a little bit of brightness to your cheese danish and it's going to be really nice. Okay, see it's nice and smooth, it's airy, it's light, but it's not, it's not overly whipped. That's, that's kind of what you're going for because you don't want to incorporate too much air into the pastry or else it's just going to fall flat and be a little, little off in the texture. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and transfer this uh, pastry over to our baking sheet. and then put it into a preheated oven, preheated to 350 degrees. Great, okay, after about 25 to 30 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and take your cheese danish out of the oven, and it's gonna be left with this uh, beautiful brownness. If it needs a little bit more time to get a little more brown, go ahead and keep it in, otherwise it should be okay. And this is Ann Schaefer with Soul Piece Chocolate. Thanks for watching.